that that is exactly how we've grown the agents within AZ and Associates. That's exactly how I grew our little brokerage, little cute brokerage into a powerhouse. All right, welcome to another episode of Mindset Mastery. I am your host, AZ Araujo. Thank you for joining me today on a special edition on a Tuesday morning as opposed to a Monday morning. Uh, yesterday, as we know, uh, workplace, Facebook, Instagram, all mediums of social media seemed like they were shut down. And uh, we just decided to postpone so that we can bring you this live. And uh, today's subject, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, and just watching my own operation here. I, I saw three of my guys right here just working frantically to set up this, this new space that we have, right? Uh, we, we try to give different looks to this studio. And we brought in an old rig, uh, kind of like a truss system, if you can see that in the background, a big truss system that I used to have out of my home, out of my home studio, right? And I'm talking about a little 300 square foot space when I say studio you know that that was uh, that that said graciously <laughs> and um uh i remember just uh getting that into my home and and doing this all by myself like literally as i'm talking i'm, I'm clicking around to change the different camera angles and now i have this group of individuals that not only have let ha helped me level this place up but got the lighting down right, got the, the visuals down right, got the intros right, got all these things that I just wasn't capable of doing before. And it gets me thinking about this whole notion of the next level, right? I would have never been here if I didn't have the courage just to take on the next level. If I didn't simply stop, start with a simple selfie video, this would have never happened. The progression of AZ and Associates, the progression of do the work would have never have happened if I would have held back, if I would have asked or waited for permission for someone to tell me, okay, now you're ready. Now you are ready. Now you are skilled enough. Now you are smart enough. Now you are capable enough to go ahead and move forward to the next level. Understand that the next level, it starts with a decision, a simple decision in your mind that it is time right now. It is not a process where you get knighted. It's not a certificate you get. It's not some type of degree you get. It is not someone just, you know, giving you a black belt to go to the next level. It's not like that in business, okay? And you might see the, the stream going in and out, but I'm going to go ahead and try to stay as, as focused and as intentional as possible. But the next level starts and ends with a decision, okay? It starts and ends with a decision and seeing yourself at that level. And the next level seems almost like a formidable foe. And if we start looking at what a formidable, uh, the definition of formidable is something or someone that makes you feel slightly frightened or are very great or impressive. Something or someone that is formidable means that you feel slightly frightened. And guess what? The next level is a little frightening, right? Because it's going to require greater skill sets. It's going to require more consistency. It's a new level. And it's a new expectation and a new standard of how you should operate moving forward. And setting these, these uh, you know, stepping into the next level is as simple as making that decision. I was reading an email and this fired me up. This fired me up. And some of you have heard this story before, but it, I did a little bit more research yesterday because I, I ran into this email. I had no intention of really bringing this up. But it got me thinking about how I have to decide where I'm going. And I just can't take people's opinions to tell me how to get to that next level. Because I work differently from other people. I mean, the way I've experienced life just makes me look at life differently. I am not going to stop just because they're an obstacle. I am not going to, you know, wither away just because things get tough. I'm going to stand up and fight. And I'm going to continue to show that my process actually works. And it's hard, right, when, when not many people are doing it your way. Most people, when they get into business, all they focus on is business. And I had to sit there for many years watching people just fly by me, thinking that my process was wrong because here I am, not trying to only grow my business, but do it in a way where it's manageable long term, where I'm taking and prioritizing my health, where I'm making sure that I'm connected at home where I'm setting up all the systems and technology that is required to make sure that this can last a lifetime. And oftentimes when I would see others, my competition, other uh, brokerages just fly to the top, I was like, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I now understand, and maybe I had a little piece of wisdom back then, that everything great does take time. It takes time and experience. 
and we have to allow time to take its course. I'm not saying sit back and wait for it to happen. I'm saying you take the necessary steps and let time compound on itself. Let time grow and, and, and uh, put you in a position where you're prospering exponentially. So I see this email and it's from a local broker, right? And the way I met this individual was um, in 2016, okay? And this is how far back I'm going. I'm going back five years. And this is how long I carry chips on my shoulder. <laughs> and it's okay. It's not that I want anything bad to happen to the other individual. It's not that I'm, I'm malicious and wanting really, you know, nasty things to happen or for them to fail. Not at all. I need these things to push me. I need these things to get my ass up in the morning to say, I'm going to show you. Now, nobody really knows it. It's a battle that I put. It's a, it's a nemesis that I put in my mind. But I need those nemesis. I need people to just trigger me just right so I can continue to move and progress forward. But what ends up happening oftentimes when somebody makes a big move, it triggers us to shut down. It triggers us to question them now, right? To question, are they ready? Are they going to move forward? Or, or, you know, they don't have enough experience to make the moves that they're making. When in reality, we're just deflecting our own insecurities about not making those same moves. And instead of making those moves, what do we do? We ask for somebody else's opinion. We think there's going to be a better time in the future. We think that, you know, it, you know if, if, I, if I wait on it, it's going to be better when in fact... All we're doing is delaying our progression. So when somebody else makes those moves, we're sitting back like, what the fuck? We start judging. We start thinking that they're maybe not in a position to, to really uh, move forward. And this is exactly what I did with this guy. As opposed to seeing, and I'm going to read you verbatim what he told me on an email, unsolicited email. I triggered them in that very same way as opposed to thinking, huh? Maybe he's got a new strategy that would work long term. Maybe I should maybe lean into him. Even though I've been in the business 10 years longer than him, AZ's progression is pretty quick there. I wonder what he's doing, and he seems to be doing it right. But instead, I get this message. And I love, I love the double-edged sword, or I'm sorry, the, the passive-aggressive nature of this whole thing. It fires me up. It's still, like, it, it still fuels me to this day. Every time I don't want to take steps, forward, I think about situations just like this. And it says, great job, AZ. I love your message. It's like, okay, go ahead and put your, your uh, wall down, AZ. I'm a nice guy. Great job, AZ. Great message. I love your message, as a matter of fact. Because I really like you, oh, I, I better just, you know, put all my guard down at this point, right? <laughs> When you started with, great job, AZ, I love your message, because I really like you, I want to offer you this as constructive feedback. I want to offer you this as constructive feedback. And I quote, stop showing you and your wife at the gym. It's too intimidating to people who don't work out and are tired of seeing people do it. Who do you think is tired in this situation? Is he speaking for the masses or is he, is he speaking for himself? I saw right through this message. I'm going to read it to you again. Stop showing you and your wife at the gym. It's too intimidating to people who don't work out and are tired of seeing people do it. Maybe a glimpse of what you do personally, but it's too much and too specific. I love that you're repelling agents you don't want and attracting agents you do want, but I would limit that at, and discuss more about what you do and how you grow the agents of your business. Little did he know that that is exactly how we've grown the agents within AZ and Associates. That's exactly how I grew our little brokerage, little cute brokerage into a powerhouse. Those very same things that he said was too much. Now, what would have happened if I didn't put enough reps? What would have happened if somebody like this that was doing two to three times more as a brokerage than we were at that time? Understand in 2016, we were nowhere near the type of production we now are able to produce. So I could have been knocked off my path and said, oh, you know what? You're right. Maybe I should do more like what you're doing. Maybe I am too specific. Did, did it catch me off guard a little bit? Yeah, I started questioning myself. Maybe, maybe I, this, this process is not right. 
even though I've seen my own success, even though I've seen my own progression, somebody else's opinion all of a sudden made me question the entire foundation I've been building it on. And I've been working two and a half hard years doing the same things over and over and over, conditioning myself that I will show up on a daily. This is in 2016. I could only imagine if I would have fell into his opinions into the way he thinks I should run my business. And we have to start thinking about who we're asking. We have to start thinking about, you know, who, who should give us permission. We have to stop thinking about that. We have to give ourselves the permission to continue to move forward, especially if you're seeing progression in your business. Maybe what you're doing is right. And the only thing you have to sprinkle on that right now is time. Time. But what did I do? I used this as fuel. Stop showing you and your wife at the, at the gym. It's too intimidating for people who don't work out and are tired of seeing people do it. Stop showing your success because, you know, your audience is, is tired of seeing you succeed and they're not. Stop posting your just closed, just listed because there's agents out there that are not doing as good as you and you're intimidating them to try to grow their business. You don't hold back. I'm not going to hold back. What did I do? I doubled down. Do the work was created on the basis of self-development, of self-improvement of self-care. Now we go five years later. Guess who's double the size of what their brokerage is? Double. Guess who's still independent when they had to go to the franchise model because their model was not sustainable. Now again, I'm not wishing harm on anyone. I don't want anyone, I know how hard it is to build a business. The last thing I want is, is to give anyone that type of negativity. But I use it as fuel in my mind. I use it as a chip on my shoulder. And I make moves. I don't ask for permission. I don't ask how you think I should run my business. You know what I allow to, to give me a feedback? the trajectory of my growth. You want feedback? Look at the trajectory of your growth. And if you're in a far better situation today than you were six months ago or a year, I would say you're on the right track. So stop asking for other people's opinions and just make your moves. If I would have listened, do the work and mark my words, It's going to be a massive company. Azen Associates will continue to be a powerhouse. And it will be the foundation. Do the work as the foundation of who we are. Not waiting for somebody else's opinions. Not putting our health and our self-care the, on the back burner. Rather to step into each and every day knowing that we're in this for the long haul. And the only way to do that is to feel good about yourself. Mentally, physically, emotionally. Because I really like you, I want to offer you this as constructive feedback. I love it. Thank you. Like I needed that. But guess what happens to most people? They succumb to that. When somebody says you're putting too many videos out there, you succumb to that. When somebody says you shouldn't post, a, a post every just listed, just sold, that's part of your job. Yeah, but I'll, I'm very proud of what I do. But the next level is always going to be formidable. It's always going to be a little scary. It's always going to be tougher because it's outside your comfort zone. 
And if you've been thinking about doing something and you haven't pulled the trigger, that's how long are you going to allow that to happen? Because when somebody else does, you're going to be sitting back and saying, hey, what's going on with him? Judging. When in fact, they just exposed you. You have to make the move. You have to lean in to what your conscience has been telling you the entire time. And yes, it's going to be tough. No doubt about it. You're going to learn some nice, painful lessons. But those lessons are very much needed to play that game at that level. Last week, we had our third, third quarter review. And just like I described it, right? Many of you walked out with a good game plan of what you were going to accomplish for the week. I mean, for the, for the remainder of the quarter. You had it all written out. You had a game plan. You even wrote down why it was important. You were on this high. We're going to end strong. But I know what happened with most of you. You were overwhelmed with how hard it was going to be, how much time it was going to take, the skill sets you have to develop, the consistency you have to show. Like you can't show up the way you've been showing up now and in the way strong, in the year strong. Every aspect of you has to level up, and with that takes more time, more energy, more effort. And when you start thinking about the time, energy, and effort, many of you succumb to that and realize, ah, maybe it's not what I, maybe I'm not ready for it. So you go through that roller coaster again, that maybe building a team is not a good idea. Maybe next year. I'll be ready next year. Creating a, the support system, the automation, hiring an employee, creating a video series. Oh, maybe, maybe next year when I have more time. What's going to happen is you're going to watch somebody else do it. And it may shut you down further or maybe that's exactly what you need to take the necessary action to move forward. And listen, no one ever, ever, I never even told you this, that it's going to be easy. It's hard. Because once you set that and step into that new standard, that new level, it, people expect it. It's a whole new level of responsibility, and it sucks. It sucks. For the short term, until you see how your life has just grown exponentially. And by simply doing what I knew was going to work, if I feel good, I'm going to do good things. If I feel good, I'm going to dominate the day. If I feel good, I'm going to have more good days than bad ones. And it gives me the confidence to make the moves that I'm making. And we're working on this big project right now. Huge. And it's scary. But it's been on my mind for quite some time. And I too fell into that trap. Maybe I'm not ready yet. But it's in my soul. It's in my conscious. I think about it every day. How could I not be ready? If you think about it every day, how could you not be ready? It's time to lean in. So this is just a reinforcement of what we talked about last week. Conditioning builds confidence, and confidence builds businesses. So I hope you have everything you need as of right now just to take that ne next additional step. We're all ready for it. People are waiting for you to rise. And yes, life is comfortable right now. Let's make it great. Guys, I want to thank you for joining me for this episode of Mindset Mastery. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Badass Agents Podcast, brought to you by Asian Associates and Do The Work Coaching and Consulting. You can watch this and other episodes by subscribing to our channel on YouTube or by visiting us directly at badassagents.com. And of course, you can listen to this episode and many others on your preferred podcast provider.